Uh, <clears throat> first off, I just want to say, uh, you know, proud of the way that our staff and the team came out and played. Uh, coming off a of bye week, we started, you know, off the week saying that we need to come out of this thing, uh, off this bye week, and start fresh. I thought we played with really good energy on, on you know, really in all three phases. And I thought, uh, you know, our staff did a great job all week. The leaders did a good job all week, and, and we played fast uh, during the game. And, and so that's a good way to start the second half of the season here. Uh, but again, I just want to, you know, give a shout out to, to Buckeye Nation. It was awesome to see these guys out here at the game. You felt them the whole game, and it's there's nothing like going into a place and, and feeling your crowd like that. And I just want to, you know, let let those guys know how much our team appreciates it. And we'll open up uh, with with questions in the the very back, Ari, and then right next to him, Bill. If we can keep up to one question, if we can't, just we because we have a lot of people here. Ari, go ahead. Hey, Ryan, you said that you, you know, before the season started that you guys were counting on J.K. to be a better version of himself than he was last year. I mean, the kid seems like he's running pretty hard. And I mean, are you getting everything out of him that you thought you could? Is this the J.K. you were envisioning? It, it is. It is. Yeah, I mean, I know he has even more to give, um, but it is. It's, it's what we talked about all preseason, the way he's been practicing since uh, really August. And he's been you know, running hard, he's worked really hard at, at you know, his body, and, uh, you know, he's done a great job with Tony Alford to prepare for these games, and, uh, you know, when you practice that way, uh, you, you start to play that way, and he's coming out of the back end of blocks, he's making guys miss, he's playing really well, and you saw him show up in the pass game, you know, that's another thing he's worked on, so uh, he's playing at a high level right now, and he's got to keep building on it. He was very critical of himself coming into the year. Does he just seem happier? Right well, now, well I think I, I think that when you're the third year into the program, a lot of things happen. First off, you know he, he's now the guy, which you know he was split carries before, so that's a little bit different. There's a lot that goes with that. But also, third year into the program, you're invested. You know, three years into a, into a program, there's just so much investment that, that you just don't want to let go. And uh, you know he's been doing a great job of leadership, and, and uh, you know the whole offense is rallied around him, especially the offensive line. Bill, Ryan, uh, I'm sure you'd prefer to, to start fast every game if you could, but you're team's numbers in the second quarter this year, all seven games are, are off the charts and got outgaining and outscoring teams. Just what, what is it about your staff and this group that you're able to sort of put that pedal down in the second quarter, even if things don't go the way you want them to early? I don't know. I don't know, you know what that really means other than the fact that we certainly want to start fast. Um, you know, it, it's hard you know, going against th this defense. I mean, they're, they're good against the run, and we knew early it wasn't going to be easy. Uh, you know, some of those runs were hard. You could tell, and then as the game went on, they started to loosen up a little bit, and we had to wear on them a little bit. But I, I thought the key was Justin making some third down conversions early on, staying in the pocket and delivering the ball. Uh, and, and the protection, for the most part, was solid. It was a couple breakdowns, but for the most part, they did a good job. The receivers got open, and so I think it really came down to the third down conversions, which we didn't get really last week early in the game. Uh, and that kept us going and kept the drives alive. Back left, Dave. Hey, Ryan, I know uh, on the first year quarterback, it's not shocking to see talent and athleticism show up, but the decision making and efficiency of Justin, I mean, are you surprised? And what do you think of the way, he, how, how efficient he's been? I think 78% tonight. Yeah, I thought, he, I thought he took a step in that direction for sure. I thought he had great poise. He handled himself well in the pocket. He threw some away that he had to. Uh, he scrambled on some early. Um, you know, if he can keep building on this, then he's got a chance to be special. Uh, second row left, uh, Rob. Uh, Ryan. Offense gets all the love, but defensively, another game where you really didn't give up any explosives. Jeff Hathley said earlier in the week that was kind of the key to this defense going forward. How happy are you with that? And it, was that true that explosives, 20-yard plays, 30-yard plays was sort of what you wanted? Yeah, no, I mean, uh, I thought that uh, we came out with great energy on, on defense. I thought we had an edge to us. You could feel it in warm-ups, and they had a really good you know week of practice. Uh, you know, for the, for two weeks they've been working at it. You know, and, and it was a, it was a slow build to the game. It wasn't all at once, but you could tell they did a great job preparing. You know, I, I did bed check last night, and just about everybody on that defense was going through their film and watching. You know, looking at the tips and going through things. And very serious group right there with great leadership. And, and I think that the secondary, you know, and, and linebackers really complement the front well. Uh, but they're playing at a high level right now, and it's because they're playing together. They understand where they fit into the defense, and they're playing with great energy. Back to the right, uh, Nathan. How did you manage um, the snaps at an offensive tackle this week? You get multiple guys ready, potentially in multiple spots, and then also what went into the decision in game to make a change here? Yeah, um, you know, that was well, there's a lot going on there. You know, uh, Thayer's you know had a little nagging deal there that we had to kind of decide. You know, in game, I thought he he was gritty, and when we needed him in the game, he came in and played. I think he played well. I'm going to watch the film, but 
I think it was the first play he was in there. We hit the long run of JK, <laughs> um, and that was gritty by him. You know, he he he, he played. Uh, you know, he played. You know, uh, hurt, and uh, and that, that says a lot about him. But I thought Nick stepped up. Nick, you know, Nick played well. Uh, you know, we we did a good job with him in there, and uh, that was his first real you know time where he had to you know start. And I thought that was good. And then we even got the wand in there at the end. So. Uh, you know, that goes to show the depth that we have with the offensive line. Gentlemen in the back row, right? You, you would talk during the week about not looking past this game and ahead to Wisconsin. Um, how good do you feel along those lines about the effort tonight? Well, uh, yeah, we, you know, we try to really focus on one week at a time. And uh, I, I think, you know, we, we feel good about the way we came out coming off the bye week with energy, starting fresh and, and just a uh, refocus on all the things that matter. Uh, within the program, and, and now we know we have a huge challenge next week. Uh, we're going to get on that plane, enjoy this, catch our breath. We'll get we'll in late tonight, and then we start the preparation in Wisconsin. We, we know what we have in store there, so that's going to be a really tough week and uh, tough preparation, tough game, but uh, but I know the kids are going to be excited to play it. Third row left, Tony. Ryan, just wondering what you thought of Tommy Togia's performance tonight. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> I didn't get a chance to see him a ton because, you know, we, in between series, you know, I'm kind of watching, but I'm also trying to figure out what we're calling next series on the phone with Kevin and uh, and Mike, but uh, and Stud. But for the most part, uh, I, I saw him flash at times. I thought he played well, uh, but I get a better feel when I watch the film. Uh, I, but overall, I thought the defensive front did a great job. Front row, right, Bill. It's no secret Northwestern's offense has struggled this year, but they they gashed you uh, with their runs early. What were they doing, and what did you do? That's do a job. Well, the first play we had ten on the field, so that wasn't a good start. <laughs> um, but but they, they you know they they're, they're they had two weeks to prepare for us. They do a good job. They're very well coached. I mean, they got good players, and so uh, they had some run. I thought their backs ran hard at times. I thought they did a good job, and so you know, we'll look at the film and see how they attacked us. Uh, right next door, Clay. The Javier moment uh, beyond making a 55-yard field goal to see the entire bench. Um, what does that mean for a kid to, to experience that? Well, you know, it was kind of funny the way that the second half or the first half ended. You know, we we got the thing pinned on the one. We decided to take a couple timeouts there to try to get maybe go after the punt, and we got it uh, probably about the 40-yard line, I guess. Then we got the hold, and we tried to see if we could get the thing inside of a 50-yard field goal for Blake because he hit one about that distance, um, you know, in, in pregame. Uh, we hit the screen, we clocked it, and it was 55 yards. We had to make a decision. And, uh, you know, he, he had made one before, so we said we'll give him a shot to, to make it. And, uh, and it was good to see the team, you know, rally behind him like that. It goes to show you the confidence the team has in them, and, and also just the, the chemistry of our team in general. I think it kind of put an exclamation, exclamation point on the whole half. And last question can be over here, Austin. And, folks, when Coach is done answering it, if you could let him out first. Uh, his wife's there, and we want to get him back in the locker room. So, Austin, last question. Ryan, you, you mentioned Dewan, and there was a bunch of guys in the, the second half that got to play who haven't had a bunch of chances. What's it like to be on the sideline for fourth quarter for a bunch of young guys maybe doing it for the first time? And how does that help moving forward? No, I mean, they were, they were really excited about getting in there and playing and, um, you know, trying to, trying to show, you know, put good film out there. And, uh, you know, I, I think we're going to watch the film, but I think I think on that long run by Masters, DeWan really got some great movement right there. And Mitch Rossi came in, and, and some of those younger guys, Harry Miller and Matt Jones, they got good movement on that play. And, you know, they, they were kind of on the sidelines saying, we want to score right here. You know, they, they were looking at it as an opportunity, and it was good to see those guys compete like that. Coach, you got to ask Baron Browning, prognosis, you expect him to be available for the big game next week, or what? what's the situation? Yeah, we'll, we'll see when we get home, but we do expect him to be ready for next week. Great, folks, thank you very much.